Isn't that a pretty bell? Just a great work workmanship. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. In this video, we're gonna discuss the JP by Taylor trumpet. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous horn. So stay tuned and uh, check out this video. Thanks. bit different this time. I wanted to play a little bit before we talked about the horn. Thanks everybody for watching this video. It's Trent Austin from ACB. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with us. This is one of our favorite trumpets to sell in the shop because it's one, it's just gorgeous. Look at that worksmanship on that horn. The JP by Taylor is a collaboration between John Packer Musical Instruments, which we sell lots of their instruments. Their euphoniums are great. Their trumpet, uh, high trumpets are great. I'm um, really fairly, you know, I would say like budget professional trumpets. And uh, Andy Taylor, who makes quite a high end trumpets. Um, so the collaboration is basically this. John Packer does have a factory uh, in Asia that they use to make this horn. But as you can see, it's beautiful. We, we have a factory that we use as well and they make amazing horns as well. Um, the Taylor lead pipe is supplied for all these horns. So you could see this lead pipe is a twin tube pipe. And that means that there's a sleeve over a sleeve. You can actually see the seam to connect to the top ferrule here. What that does is it really contains the resonance and keeps the horn very centered. Uh, Kahn did this back in the late 30s or mid 30s with their Vocabell models. They had a sleeved lead pipe and other companies like the Selmer TT which is a great trumpet as well um, had that as in addition so that's one of the upgrades in this horn there's a few others <coughs> pardon me uh, there's this rounded crook here which is beautifully done the Amato style water keys and what you want to see here if you could see it yeah you can is that's nickel silver so all the inner slides are nickel silver that does two things one they move very smoothly once they break in, two, uh, they're very long lasting and highly resistant to wear. And I think they also add in the resonance of the sound. This horn's slightly heavier than a Bach, but not dramatically so. Nothing like um, the Adams A4 or a Harrelson or something like that where you actually have a, a fairly you know, dramatic increase in weight. Um, bell taper is nice, it's not too, too large. The bell diameter, is around five inches and it's got a nice uh, bead to that bell as well there's a single braced tuning slide single braced uh, and the valves don't fully recess but very close and the valves hold on they they're awesome they look great and they feel great too so look at those valves just wonderful i think this horn's a smidge over two thousand so if somebody who's looking for a, a a beautiful horn. I mean, the finish on this horn is great. They also make this in clear lacquer and silver, I do believe. Um, and we've sold all those variations of this horn. Uh, it plays wonderfully. It's a really fun horn to play. Um, and it comes in an awesome case, like a like a Marcus Bona double style case. So let, let's play. The clips here are without any sound um, sweetening or processing it's just literally playing into a microphone. So let's play a little bit of classical music on it first. Thank <laughs> you. 
operator error is not included in the horn. With a lead mouthpiece, it, it lights up really nicely, actually. So let's play a little bit of that Phil Collins Easy Lover. And I think this horn excels playing improvised music. So let's play some on it. I know I've had a few uh, shorter clips of this horn and pretty lo-fi, and this is fairly lo-fi as well, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about the horn overall. It's just a great, um, a great setup for someone who's looking maybe not to spend the, the real high-end dollars on some of the boutique horns that are out there, but still want something very unique, beautiful, that plays great. And this horn does fit the bill very nicely. So that's the JP by Taylor. Um, I didn't really give you many other specs though, sorry. Um, it's still a 460 bore. It's still uh, um, about a 4.88 inch uh, bell as well. So very, very traditional. Again, that twin tube lead pipe is great. The valves are great. Super fun. We do have them in stock for sale. If you have any questions, just reach out to us at info at austincustombrass.com or call 816-410-0826. While you're here, hit the subscribe, stay up to date with us, and uh, stay tuned for a whole bunch more goodies coming soon. Thanks again for your great support of the shop. Cheers.